This is how to take apart a Turbo Power 1 bearing 2, 3, 1000. So, what you need to do is use a pin like this. This is what I use. You can use a very small flat blade screwdriver, but I just find it easier with this. And what you want to do is flip it over like this. Now, sometimes this opening here is buried in dirt if it's a used bearing. So what you want to do is get your pin under one end like that and then it's hard to do like this but just get it on one end of the open bit and then just push up. I don't know how well you can see that but so then it comes off like that. Now there's the C clip. Just put that over there. Now what you want to do is oh by the way sometimes they don't come off that easily. Sometimes they take a bit more to do than that. But now what you want to do is flip it over. I usually use a tray dish, anything like that. Put the well, they can't really doesn't really make a difference, but put the um put it in a little dish and then pull this top part off. And there's your bearing. Well, this is your bearing, but I meant your balls for the bearing. So obviously this is nice and clean and greased. But what I do is I get some white spirits and put it in a little old jar and then let this soak for a bit. Then uh, being careful not to lose any of the balls, otherwise your bearing is knackered. And then rinse it off, dry it with a paper towel, make sure they're all nice and dry. Just make sure everything's all clean and dry. Then what you want to do is, obviously mine is sticking together because of greased, but like I said, it will fall out anyway. What you want to do is what I do is, imagine these ball bear, balls aren't there, is just get a bit of grease on your finger and run it around the bottom part like that. And then put the, ball, the, bear, the balls back in and then put a bit more grease on top and then you get this part push it through like that flip it over like this get that clip C clip line it over like this then push down Some, there we go, you'll hear it's a little snap when it goes in sometimes they're not, they're not start again. sometimes they aren't that easy to do sometimes they can be a bit stubborn so what I do is if you can't push it in with your fingers like that is I get on a hard surface align the C clip over like that turn it over and get some um, pliers or something and push down until it snaps back on then what I do is grab this top part like this and this bottom part and then just twist it like that until they seat in nicely. Well, this they won't get seated in fully doing that, but it's just so they get seated in roughly. And then what you want to do is just put it back in your activator and let the machine run for a bit. And then they, I mean, it will sound a bit odd, a little bit off. These bearings will sound a bit weird at first, but just let it run for a bit and it will seat in nicely. So. That's how to take apart a turbo power bearing.